let's say we wanted to pose these things. You can use um, you can use Transpose Master if you want to transpose both of these. Oh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, alternatively, you can merge these down, run a Z sphere through here, and rig it. But if we want to use Transpose Master, because we've got multiple subtools now, um, this one we don't really need anymore, so I'm just going to delete that. So let's say we want to pose this one out. We want to make some changes to it, and it's very complicated to mask and transpose. So what we're going to do go to Z plugin here, and we're going to say Transpose Master. We're going to T pose the mesh with a Z sphere rig. So that'll give us our mesh here, and then we've got a little Z sphere in here that we can scale. And then I'm going to hold on Colt W. And you know what? Let's scale these down just a little bit so, so we can see a little bit better. And then I'm going to hold down oops, Shift, and we'll snap it to the same size. These size doesn't really matter. No jokes on that. But it's uh, basically we're going to the it's, you don't paint weights in ZBrush, but uh, what you can do is allow Z spheres to uh, to kind of put weights in there for you. So essentially, what we're doing is we're putting a skeleton down the middle of this object here, like so. And then we'll hit Q, and then we'll just go through here, and we'll just drag these things into place. Uh, you can also do the exact same thing with humans. Uh, I have videos on that. You know, I think I have videos on that, but it's in my CGMA class videos, which I'm going to be releasing soon on Gumroad. Um, but in the meantime, you can go to Paul Gabriel's channel. He has some uh, Paul Gabriel YouTube. He'll go. He has. Uh, he doesn't have a whole lot of videos right now, but he does have uh, videos on exactly what I'm doing here, which is transpose master with Z sphere rigs. So if we have our Z spheres all set up here, all we got to do is go down to our Z sphere, go to rigging, say bind mesh, and that'll bind your mesh to your Z sphere rig. So now when I go in here to rotate, it'll follow. So you can go through here and you can pose out your cords a little bit more. And also, if we go out of bind mesh mode here, and we go into layers, if you had just had this just at a straight line, you can say add a new layer, and then go ahead and bind the mesh. And then as you're posing these out, and you can even use scale. You can get crazy with this stuff if you want to. You can um, scale these in and out or even move. But generally speaking, you probably just want to do rotations. So you can go through here, and you can rotate this out and pose it however you'd like. And then you can say, okay, I'm done with that. And now your pose will be on a layer. So you can put that back down to zero. You can make a new layer and then go through here and you can record a new layer or you can record a new pose. So you can take something and pose it out a different way, save these all as poses. And then when you're happy with that, you can say, okay, I'm good. And then those will be all on a layer. And you can always go back to bind pose without having to unbind your mesh. And if you're happy with this, you can say, let's go back to Tpo sub. Now, you can tell it when you go and transpose these, put it on a layer so it's even less destructive. So as it's being posed, you can always go back and take it out. Uh, we'll just do Tpo sub. Okay, so now we're back to our regular mesh here and it's been rotated and stuff. So we're in good shape.